The horror perpetrated by ISIS has today prompted world leaders to warn of the global threat it poses, using terms once reserved for al-Qaeda. Right now, the extremist group only controls parts of Syria and Iraq. But the gruesome killing of an American journalist by a militant with a British accent has made it truly international in its target. Nala Ayed has the details from London. Nala. David, it's more than likely that somewhere in this city, there are some who know this country's most wanted killer. There are probably people here with answers to the urgent questions security services are furiously asking. The unease, like the headlines, is striking. The demand is for the authorities to pinpoint the Brit they're now calling the butcher behind the mask. I think it's very likely we will discover his identity even within the next days. Remember, we have a lot more means of finding out who that guy is than we used to have 20 or 30 years ago. This is James Wright Foley. Beyond that London system. accent, there are some leads on the identity of the ISIS man who beheaded journalist James Foley and the machine that made that murder possible. At least one former captive apparently believes the killer is one of three British men in charge of safekeeping the group's foreign hostages. They called them the Beatles. Others say the group demanded more than $130 million ransom for Foley's release. And it isn't the first time, says this French journalist who was held by ISIS with Foley for seven months. Many countries actually do negotiate. What do they negotiate? I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it is money. I don't know if it is prisoner exchange. Uh, and some countries, like America, but also like uh, the UK, do not negotiate. An attempt to rescue Foley and other hostages by U.S. commandos failed. Now officials have opened a criminal investigation. We have long memories, and our reach is very wide. Uh, we will not forget what happened, and people will be held accountable, one way or the other. Even without a name, we know he has threatened to kill again. And we have some sense of his mindset, says this expert. So there's a lot of psychological rewards, but it, it also probably makes you feel more relevant and more important. So it, it sort of doesn't get said, but these guys are also very arrogant, and, and a lot of it is about their ego. ISIS is also a threat that is beyond anything seen before, the U.S. Defense Secretary said tonight. To exact justice, they will have to be pursued far from the cities they once called home. David. Thanks very much, Nala. That is Nala Ayed in London tonight.